This is the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. And it's big. And it's heavy. And it's upright. You might be wondering why. Well, we'll get into it once we do this walk around. Let's get into it. So before we lay this thing down, I uh, clearly have been playing around with it. Uh, we didn't do the unboxing this time because it's just heavy. It was impossible to do this uh, alone. But uh, when I lifted this up to search for the specs, here's what I found. I found this bumper, and obviously this is the handle. The handle travels through the middle of the body, of the bottom. And then you have this bumper here that says step on. Now, I've been puzzled. I've been trying to figure out for the last 30 minutes, what on earth, why do I step on that? Like, I've actually stepped on it. I didn't see any real reason for that. And then I just said to myself, look, I'm wasting too much time. Let me just start making this video and put this thing down. And I reached for the handle, and I intuitively stepped on it. <laughs> But here it is. So when you are trying to lay it down, I'm gonna push this button and it pops up. That's really nice. This is a really nice handle. And you stick your fingers just like that. Great grip. And then you step on it. Ha 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 ha. Then lay it down. All right. So this is the new EcoFlow Pro, the Delta Pro. Uh, and let's just start here on the side. It looks great. It looks very futuristic. On the top is where your extra batteries will go now. You're still going to have wires going through the back and connecting to the back, but that's where those stack. And I like the new and improved form factor and the look. On the side right here, we have an RV port. Moving around on the front, we have all the, the other ports. Um, it's kind of funny because it's so big. But, you, you know, it's really not a whole lot going on. You have a humongous new screen. Even inside the app, the screen for the Delta Pro 3 is different than all the other EcoFlow products. But you have just two USB-C ports. And you have just two USB-A's, which you probably don't need more than that. But still, really, maybe four of these, I would have assumed. Four of each. Uh, you have four AC outlets. They're all 20 amp. Then you have a 240 amp outlet. Then you have a NEMA port here, which this will connect to your home. So you would use this to connect to your inlet box, which would then go to your transfer switch and your sub panels and the grid and all that other good stuff. Now let's walk on around here. We have another sliding door. And here is where you turn on your DC ports. Then you have your DC5521 port, which is funny because it's just one. I mean, the Delta II have one, has more than this. It's so funny. Uh, this is where you would connect your EcoFlow tablet for remote access, which is actually really redundant because you have the app which can do all those things so you know i don't see very many people using this but maybe if you had this just i don't know if you wanted everything there you go uh then you have your uh solar input here moving around the side of this big body bends we're coming on around to the back and we have some more things here so first up we have this door which all of them can slide in. So, so you have your AC in, and then you have your charging port here. So you can click adjust, and this will allow you to adjust the speed at which it charges. Um, and if you put it on fast, it'll just always charge at 1800. Me, I would prefer to be able to adjust it. Then you have another solar input here, and you have another solar input here. The difference, check the differences though, because this one is for 30 to 150 volt panels and this one is for 11 to 60 volt panels so check your uh solar panels so i know for like pecron for example their panels are like 32 volts uh and so you would use this inlet here for the ecoflow panels those all started like 12 volts and so you would plug those in here for max charging 
Then over on this side, we just have two extra battery ports. So you could plug in two batteries there. Also over here, we have another AC power in and out port. So we take that down. And this, this is for fast charging at EV stations. So this will take an EV charger and you can charge it at, it has all the specs down here. I've been looking for this. I'll just leave it paused and you can take a look at the top there. And that is pretty much it. That's the whole walk around. So we'll go ahead and start, start the testing. Let's get it on. Now, before we test, I, I, we were missed if I didn't mention all that it comes with. It comes with these two grips here uh, to, you know, put on the handles. They go here so you don't hurt your hand when you're carrying it. I don't like the way they look. Let me go ahead and put one on there for you so you can see how it looks. It's not bad, but it's not as sleek when you have those things on. And over time, those, these are probably good, really ugly looking. And it came with this power cord. That's it. Nothing else. All that money. Ta-da. One heater doesn't work. Maybe it. Okay, there we go. Now both of them on. Both heaters. It should be about 3,000 watts. It is. It is producing about 3,000 watts. Okay, now let's turn this on low. See what happens. We're getting there at that 4,000. It's handling up the four just fine. Now I'm gonna turn this on high. That should certainly trip it. Okay, so let me explain what just happened. That should have tripped it. We saw that this produces about, what, 1,500 watts itself on high, and each one of the heaters produces 1,500 watts as well. Now, what happened when I turned the blow dryer off, it throttled everything else. So it reduced the power to the other outlet, spread it out evenly, and made it around 41 4100 watts now i don't know how i feel about that i mean i'm it's good it didn't overload it protected itself however certain appliances might not respond well to that so that is something to keep in mind but it went to 41 and some change just fine all right so now we're going to charge her back up and then we will run our capacity test all right, 100% charged, have this all reset. Now, this is a 4,000 watt hour power station, so this is going to run a few hours. But let's go ahead and get her started. Make sure it gets up to 15. There we go. And uh, we'll be back once this thing is on E. All right, so she just finished up just conked out all right so that ran for two hours and 39 minutes let's function for wow four thousand eighty two kilowatts so so i mean four thousand eighty two watt hours that's that's wonderful now i did also notice on the app it has the same information so i didn't let well let's just compare and see how accurate the app is all right now let's go ahead and go into the app here when we go to real time power we'll see here it says that the total output and it gives it by the day and time uh we see we start at 12 something then one two three four I, I, I'm, I'm assuming these are the hours it's not making much sense but this is saying out of the ac port it has used 3880 uh watt hours so there's a huge discrepancy there but we're going to use the um, device that we've been using because that's what we use across all of the power stations. So the Delta Pro 3 has been charging for a little minute now, um, about 30 minutes. It's on 52%. And the fan is as loud as it's going to get. We see I have it maxed out on fast charging. Let's 
hear how it, how much noise it makes. I'm going to call that 65. It's not loud, but it's making varying noises, so it's making this thing jump all over the place. Then my air conditioner just turned on, so that didn't help either. I'm going to call it 65. That's really quiet. And now as far as max charging through AC, your regular AC without that super port on the back, its max is 1,800 watts. And it's been hanging out at about 1695 for a while now, so that seems to be, at least for my house, uh, the best it can do. All right, it is currently 906, 907. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and turn on the all everything. We're going to turn on everything. Well, you can you have to choose. So here, it's either 240 or 120. So we're going to turn that on. I just did it from the app. So now they're both on, and we'll let this run for 12 hours and see where it is after that. All right, so it's been 12 hours. Let's check in. 88%. That's the, I've seen worse. I've seen worse, and I've also seen better. Now, what do I think of the EgoFlow Delta Pro 3? I had to zoom out because this thing is just so big, and it's probably not as, picture's probably not as clear. I, I like it. I love the way it looks. I love it performs well. Uh, the only thing that's weird to me, I like the new screen. The only thing that's weird to me is the lack of USB ports. I'm not even really concerned about the AC outlets. It could have squeezed six on there. That would have been ideal. And then to have at least four USB-Cs, I think. I mean, four here and four there. This big old machine, that should have it. I don't think that the wireless charging was necessary, especially because the batteries now sit on top, reducing the footprint. It looks very classy. I like all of the, the new drawers. They're easy to open and close, unlike the older model, especially going on in the rear. These are very easy to open and close and slide in so you don't have any accidents. I really love that. And I just like the unit overall. Now, my only other gripe with it is its price. So with that said, let's go ahead and give it an eco score and see how it compares to its competitors. Now, before we get to the Eco score, I just want you to see the testing results of the Delta Pro 3. All right, first up, price. For price, the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is overpriced, in my opinion. You can get an Oops Mega 5 for $34.99, which sports a 5,000 watt hour battery, has more ports. The only place where that lacks compared to this is in the app department, and it's not as cute, and it gets a 1. As far as weight goes, weight, it's also pretty heavy for what you get. Again, the Oops Mega 5 weighs less than this thing and has a whole lot more going on with it and has more ports and has a larger capa battery capacity, and it gets a 2. As far as performance goes, this thing screams, it gets a five. When it comes to efficiency, it's not the best. I think that with that parasitic drain, it could get better with some updates over the future, but as of today, it gets a four. In terms of features, again, I'll give this a four. It's missing some USB ports, and if we're comparing it to others, it doesn't have a flashlight and all that, which to me, that stuff is gimmicky, but it is missing ports which is pretty important. Uh, the only reason why it gets a four is because that app absolutely saves it. As far as the charge rate goes, we know that's a five. It screams. As far as warranty goes, it has a five-year warranty, so that gets a five as well. Value, now value is all the things wrapped in, including the price. For the money, you can do a lot better, and the value is a two as of today. Maybe next year it'll be cheaper. Giving this a complete total eco score of 28. That places the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 third on our list of all power stations. Next up will be the EcoFlow Delta Pro 2, which is just labeled the Delta Pro, and we'll see how that ranks.